All right. Welcome back, all our freaks and geeks. We're going to do another review for you because of the new Kenobi film just film series just finished. And we wanted to review it, let you know what we liked and we disliked and then give you a rating about it. And Marcus, what do you like about it? What was your the thing from it that you liked the most? Yeah. So as D said, we, we're reviewing Kenobi, the limited series on Disney Plus, the Star Wars series, <laughs> which, which takes place 10 years after episode three. And it follows Obi-Wan as he's going through his exile as a Jedi after Order 66. So it's a little, he's a little seasoned now. He just connected himself from the Force. Because it takes him 10 years after, like, the, yeah, the after Revenge, Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's been doing so it for, Luke like, Leia, 10 years. Yeah, Luke and Leia is, like, 10 now. He's been doing his thing for a minute. Obi-Wan, is, he's starting to become, like, that old hermit. Yeah. But this, this version of Obi-Wan is, like, depressing, like. <laughs> he cut himself off in the yeah. He didn't let his hair grow. He don't do nothing. He just let stuff happen, and he kind of. He don't of even like, use a lightsaber you know, anymore, bro. He had a blaster. <laughs> yeah, man. He going through straight PTSD from all the '66, which is understandable because they literally was killing Jedi. Yeah, you know, and he had to fight his best friend. He didn't want to kill him. But, but yeah, it's overall, it, it was a pretty cool series. When I heard them coming out with it and the way it was taking place, I had a perception of a different story. Yeah. A story that was going to unfold, you get what you can get nowadays. And it wasn't a bad series, but it's a lot of things that could have been left out and a lot of things that they could have focused a little bit more, a little bit more on. Like with Star Wars now, I think it's losing it's almost like storytelling element that George Lucas brought to it and like the fantasy of it. And even like the Western thing, like they try to keep it, but it's almost, I don't know. It's hard to put my finger on it now. Yeah, I, just, I get where you're coming from because it's like, how do I explain it? It's like in the theme with the West based Western and whatever, but they, I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. they, they keep the elements as far as like, you know, he almost is like that John Wayne type of character where he's he's distant from like society, yeah, in the world. And he's alone by himself, and he's the man that comes into town every now and then, and then somehow he gets caught up, and he has. It's almost like the searches. He had to go save. If if y'all ever see, I'll be if you ever seen the searches with John Wayne where he had to go save his niece. Or, I think it was his niece or something. But that was like kind of racist. The, the reason why he saved it, but it's the same kind of context. Yeah, like, where he's going to save, and it makes him come out of his like little hut. Yeah, because he was like pretty much like I'm not helping no Jedi. They ain't helping nobody. Yeah. I'm just on my own. <laughs> like I'm doing I'm my own thing. Watch Luke and that's it. I'm working my wages, going back to my cave. Like he wasn't yeah, trying man. to help out Jedi because there was a, I think there was a, a Jedi that he was that came up to him that recognized him. He was like. I don't know you. Leave me you alone. Know, get out of town. Here, get away. Get out of town. And then, like later on, you see like he gets they string him up and whatever. So he was like, "Dang, mm-hmm. I should have. I could have helped him." And D is crazy because that scene, I was like, "Oh snap, we finna get a different type of Star Wars." I was like, "They finna get to the nitty gritty." But you <laughs> go from a moment like that to like the next episode. Is like what Leia getting kidnapped, and then he going on this whole like journey to the little planet. And he was he was Walter White from Breaking Bad. For like, <laughs> just, he was in the spice lab for a couple of seconds. It, it, it went. See the thing. I think it like what hurts this series is. I think it's really Disney's like aspect where it's like a family friendly thing it, because you can show yeah. like those scenes where he gets strung up like that, but you're not gonna get anything further than that. Vader was very like controlled like he did things yeah, he but was. but he, he didn't was. like especially in that one episode where he comes up to town like the end fight where he, their, their first fight and he just sits yeah. there and looking at the flames instead of hopping yeah. over them flames or walking through them and just being on his butt like vader probably would have but i understand it falls with he has to be in the in the, yeah, in the original can. yeah but i feel like you should have you could have played up a little bit more to be like oh yeah he got away but just barely like vader was on him but they yeah. got away just barely you know what i'm saying like that would have shown and that even, like Vader was really trying to get him, but like Obi Wan was just good enough or lucky enough to get away, so yep. that when they fight again, it's not like Vader just sat there and was like, "Yeah, fire is nice and toasty. Let me toast my marshmallows or whatever." You let, know? Me, let me just make a lightsaber marshmallow. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but 
but it, and it's crazy because in that same episode, you get that great moment with Vader walking through the city and he's just mm-hmm. like snapping people's necks. Exactly. Like, oh, this, this is going to be that kind of show. Yeah. And then it just, it's okay. I got into a debate with some fans on Instagram. And it was a, <laughs> it's a little fun. fan page. And I was just saying, I was joking. I was like, I think we need a little bit more than what we got. It's really PG. And the dude was like, really, PG? But Vader literally was snapping people's necks and this and that. I, it's like, what more do you want? And I'm like, no, I'm not asking for a gore fest where he, like, yeah. stabs somebody and their guts fall out. I'm just saying, I want the, from the comics they're doing now and from the lore. Yes. I want to see Prime Vader, yes. like, not caring about anything. That's like, what it is. Yes. Thank you. Like, the best, the best Vader moment was at the end. That was the y- yeah. Like, literally, the last episode was, was the, the best, best episode, episode which of the tells you, which shows you what the problem is. Because when your last episode is the best out of six episodes, that should that should worry worry these people <laughs> yeah. when they make these shows, bro. It's like it almost like Obi Wan almost went into the Boba, the Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, um, I agree. It almost went into that kind of lane because. It was about Obi Wan, but then it wasn't about Obi Wan. Then it was about Obi Wan, and then it wasn't. Yeah, and it like good uh, opportunities, bro. But yeah, games. like I think, and it was talking about that the fact that it was an Obi Wan series, but it really wasn't about Obi Wan. The Inquisitors were pointless to the show. And when you think they about were. it, they, like, they were. didn't really do anything. And when we, and when, yeah, and when well, what's your name got kidnapped, the plot literally said, "Oh no, we already got a plan to get her back. Don't worry about it." There is no like, there was no like sitting in the jail and like in the containment getting any conversation mm-hmm. from like the Inquisitors or learning more about their base or how it's set up or any for people that don't know about the Inquisitors, they really mm-hmm. didn't like flesh didn't those characters out. It. If they're going to bring them in, they need to flesh them out a bit. And that can help us with the new Inquisitor. They, what's her name? Uh, Reva, Reva. Reva? Re, uh, Reva. Reva. Yeah, like, and that would have like fleshed Moses her out. Ingram. I like Moses Ingram, uh yeah. portrayal of Reva. It was really good how they tried to give her. They actually fleshed. Now, that was one character they fleshed out. Yeah, they, they did. They gave her a backstory, what her motive was, what fueled her revenge and her redemption, because she had a choice, just like she had a choice, and Obi Wan, and it was kind of cool. That's why I said that last episode was so good because you saw Obi Wan give two people a choice, and one mm-hmm. person took the uh, side to go to the light, and the yep. other one embraced the dark side. But at the same time, Obi Wan left Anakin and didn't kill him. Because it's, I'm still giving him a choice, and that just yeah. shows you how that just show you how much Obi Wan carries like that weight of what happened with Anakin on him because he still couldn't kill him, and he still feels even though There's my no way to get him gone, back. I still he still has a choice. I can't I can't do it. Do it. And that's why I've always loved Obi Wan because to me he was more powerful as a Jedi because he was willing to make certain decisions even though he fell under the Jedi you can't love and all this. He still was like, you know what, Anakin, I know about you and Padme. Padme, I understand it's between us. I'm not going to tell anybody because I went through the same thing. I would have yep. loved the Jedi Order for Love. Exactly. So it's like with that last episode, is you really see mentally what he's going through. And he finally, that, that moment he had cleared his mind. And he really reconnected with the force, and he kind of—it's like he came back because he took that weight off of him. Which see, spoilers, spoilers, it gave spoilers, him, that, yeah, it, it gave him that enlightenment to see his master again. Because, like I, Qui-Gon said, he was there the whole time. Yeah, I think that, like, in that last fight, there's two things I want to say. One, one thing I did was the confrontation between Vader and um, Re- Re- Reva. When mm-hmm. he like handed a broken, broke the lightsaber in oh, half, man. handed handed the thing to her, and then by the com- end of the battle, he had both of them in his hands again. I was like, Ooh. Man, look. <laughs> that was cold. I like that was one thing I was like, that was really cool. Secondly, I think Anakin came back like when he like when they were talking with his mask crack, just like he did in the in the Rebel show when he was messing yep. with Ahsoka. I think he gave that clarity to Obi-Wan in that moment saying, I chose this to free him from it, to free him mm-hmm. from like the way that he was saying, oh, it was my fault. He this, that, the other. He was like, no, I chose this. And yeah. then he proceeded you... to go back into his Vader thing. And he called him Darth too. 
Yeah. Like, right, yeah, when I'm he left, saying, he said Darth. Did, did you pick up what I was going to say? It was three things. When he when he was talking to him as Anakin, when Obi-Wan was talking to him as Anakin, and it would frame him with mm-hmm. the mask, you could see the blue from Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Yeah. And then when he went back to Vader, you saw the... Yeah. I was like, see, that's the kind of stuff that I love. And then, like you said, he called him Darth. And remember, the first, when we see him in A New Hope, when they see these little yeah. things, he never called him Darth Vader, he said, Darth. So it's yeah. like, you, it's like they connecting that bridge. And I was like, yo, y'all doing this at the last episode when this could have been, so I felt flux. like, I felt like that could have been like a mid episode. Yeah, And then I agree. have more after that. See him train more with Qui-Gon. You know, see him find his hut where he's going to yep. live on Tatooine. I feel like that's the stuff we want to see. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the stuff with Leia because, one, the little girl who played Leia, she did great. Yeah, great. She really she embodied, definitely. like, it's almost like Carrie Fisher's, like, spirit was in her. Yeah. Like, the little stuff she would do. And then I thought it was so awesome that, and it, and it makes you a little emotional, like, when Obi-Wan would see Anakin and Padme in her. And if he's man, even though my friends are gone, I still have them like right here. Exactly. Through these children. And it was cool. Like, that's all I'm saying. It had good moments, but a lot of those moments were tainted by like the writing or or the fluff or just, okay, here's a filler episode. We're just going to do this where we go to the town and they do this and blah, blah, blah. And here's a cameo of an actor. Like, <laughs> I felt like they needed to. I felt they rushed the Vader stuff. Like they could have. No, they what they, they could have done is they, they could have first episode. Yeah, they could have put Re- Reva the first episode when he, and have them fight each other and then leave the last fight to the yeah, last episode. That's what I thought. I was like, when are we go? Are we going to get the Obi Wan versus Reva because she's the one who's hunting him? Like exactly, it'll be so cool to see him like fight her in the Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. Or something like that. And then, like, lead it up to Vader. But they was like, uh-uh. They almost... Put Vader in Star here. Wars, Star Wars is getting to the Batman effect, where they have to, like... <laughs> they like, uh-uh. We got to throw Vader in there immediately. Like, the first episode. They didn't yeah. even, they didn't even wait it out. They didn't even hold the card. Like, they set up uh, uh Reva to be, like, this, like, antagonist, like, early on. And then she never really, they never had that, oh, we're fighting. They did not that one episode when they were, he was holding them back. But that wasn't, I'm not counting that. They yeah, should have had a, like, legit fight. Because that would have got Obi-Wan ready for Vader. It would have got him, it would have got him. Exactly. The, 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 you know, yeah, exactly. Right. And he would have been ready for that Vader fight. It wouldn't have been as one-sided as it was at, you know, at first when he had to, like, really get back in his box. But that, and then, like, the and then like, someone was bringing up this point that I didn't think about. Like, the way that, like, Reva was using parkour instead of, like, just force jumping or whatever. That's what somebody yeah. brought up. And I was like, I didn't even think about that until, until I was like, wait, she is a force user. She could have just forced her way over the, the, the place, but she was doing, like... Bro. Far coverage. It, so, it was so ridiculous. I was like, <laughs> yo, man, they got my girl doing parkour across these little buildings and stuff. Bro, she, she could have done the force old... lightning thing. She was chasing the old man. What did she need to do all that for? Obi Wan's like, <laughs> he'd have been beat up. He ain't using the force no more. And she got to do. I was like, yo. I'm and telling not you, to bro, mention, you could have just used it like a helicopter thing like they do in like Rebels. Remember they were yeah. like flying with those? He barely used it. There was a lot of stuff that they ignored with the Inquisitors in this show. And just, Uh, like, the whole thing was like, okay, this is at the Order, this is at the Order 66, right? Yeah. We know there's a certain Jedi that's still around, but we literally get one Jedi he talks to, and you don't even see anything with him. And then the rest of them are in some damn, whatever those kind of tombs were, on the uh, Inquisitor Yeah, base. an Inquisitor spot. I was like... And then not oh, to mention man. the other only Jedi we get was a fake Jedi. And which exactly. he, like I say, he was cool. Don't get me wrong. He was cool. But I was wanting... Like, I was like, okay, we're going to get another Jedi that we're going to be cool with. Yeah. But it was cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I liked it. Like, I, it grew on me. It did grow because at first I was like, oh, this one right? of these guys. It grew on me. I was like, okay, fair. And uh, there were certain things like the certain list plot holes, like where I was just like, like when she found Leia and kidnapped her, I was like, how did she like know where how did to she meet catch up? up? Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? I was like, you could have like, just showed us like something on the wall, showing the blueprint where they would have met up, and I'd be like, okay, fine. 
That's what happens. But nothing like that. Like, just, I was like, I was like, Disney, you got some slanting to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then they never explained it at all. It just was like, oh, whatever. And then the Obi Wan getting the damage from like the fire that got taken away immediately. He wasn't even injured for that long. Let me so, tell like, you something. That that was a missed opportunity with the battle mm-hmm. tank, mm-hmm. where they could have did like they did with Boba Fett. Yep. Except with Boba Fett, they really focus heavy on the flashback. Yep. That you could have had that episode be like a scene from with Anakin and Obi Wan in the Clone Wars. Yeah. Showing them you know, d- during a battle or something, and they have a moment, and then like you. Enough, this is another thing that I thought they were going to do with the flashback. <clears throat> they could have actually showed when he got to Tatooine after he thought he had killed Anakin and what he actually went through, like yep. mentally, and how he was uh-huh. really breaking down. Yeah, and then you could have opened it with him in the bathroom tank and then him getting out. But as soon yep. as they went to it, it was like flash, flash, a little quick hit us. He said, No, I gotta go. I gotta go get Leia. Where's Leia? I was like, bro, they just you could have utilized it so it, well. Man. They, they really did. Rested. And I th- that's what I say. I keep telling people all the time, like the six episode thing is not working. It's not enough, man. You need to expand it to at least a 13 count or something. That nice cushion. Netflix if had a great be, line. If it's gonna be a limited series, you gotta do at least 10 episodes at the minimum. Because Great. You gotta flush that because when you say limited series to me, that means it's no season two. This is it. You're telling this whole story. So y'all yep. wanna take a character like that and the whole dynamic of him and Vader and Anakin, Leia, Luke, Owen, and hang on, uh, man, ba- 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 I always forget his wife's name. Owen's wife, man. That's uh, why I go with I always forget it too. <laughs> yeah, I always forget it. Then you got Reva. And stuff like that. You got all of this stuff. And you want to compact it into only six episodes. And then most of the episodes are what? 50, 40 minutes at the most. So it's still not enough time to really flesh the story out. And then Great. it's like, then now, and now you want to, now you got people saying, is it going to be a season two? And then you see stuff like, hey, man, you don't want to come back. They want a season two. But why do we have to go through that? We why shouldn't we... have to. If it's a limited series, like you got to kill the one... thing. I felt like kind of story should be one season. Yep, agreed. Because, like we said, the thing with him and Vader that was in the last episode. Okay, cool. <laughs> that that could have been mid, like we said, mid episode. Before that, like you said, is you have a little conversation with him and Reva, and then maybe Vader is Vader comes when she when they're fighting each other, and then that's when he realizes, oh. Is that he's alive? Anakin's alive. Cause I also felt like she shouldn't have been the one to tell him that Anakin yeah. is still alive. I felt like he should have seen him and then been like, "Oh shit!" Or just felt the presence, the familiar presence, like, "Oh, that's, that's Anakin. He knows him so well that, that he." Going back to what you said, D, about her fighting Obi Wan. While they're fighting, Vader comes up, right? And he, he can say something like, "You found him," or. Whatever the line he'll say. Or he could just walk up in there and then she'll be like, just like she was doing when she was trying to hunt him and try to get him to come out. Yeah. Yeah. Obi-Wan, you thought Anakin was dead. Well, he lives or something like that. Or he could have... Oh, go ahead. ahead. That's your point. No, 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 been. It could have been like, he could have been, he could have just showed up and like, Obi-Wan, it's been a while. And he'd have have looked at him like, I don't know you like that. And then he'd have felt him. Like the the force, he could have used the force and been like, he's like, oh yeah, you're Anakin. Like, and he's like, you know, I can see who you are through that disguise or something like that. And just know. And and see, that's why I was like, you could have set that up. That way the fight happens mid show, mid the mid point. And then after the fight happens, because you can keep, you can even keep the storyline with Leia. Yeah. That works. You can flush it out now. Uh-huh. Then you get her back to Alderaan. Yep. He comes back to Tatooine. Then he goes and trains with Qui Gon. He might do a little side quest or something. That's <laughs> how he maybe gets the hut. I'm saying his little hut he lives in. You can see him start writing his journal. Because remember in the comics, Luke, find, Luke finds his journal. He's been writing it. Like, mm-hmm. it's so much that could have been. There's so much stuff they could have put in there. 
And then, like I said, we could have gotten, a, we could have even gotten a little bit more. Because Vader, because what happened with Riva, she wanted Vader to come out. And mm -hmm. what could have happened is she could have just pretty much just attacked him out while he's fighting Obi Wan and something like that. And he had to just, he had to take his attention away from Obi Wan gets away. And then they have their final battle at the end, un yep. uninterrupted, because he's mm -hmm. gonna handle Riva the same way he does in the show. Hand her the under the blade. They do the thing. And by the time yep. he's done handling her, Obi Wan has gotten away. He's darn, so on and so forth. And then that way, if you do a midpoint, then you get Reva's redemption. And then you can maybe have a little episode showing what she's contributing herself to the rebellion, or if she's just trying to do her own thing. Yeah. Or you see her go off into the sunset. You can get a little backstory but, in there, too. Like a little backstory yeah, about how she even got with them. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly, because that's what somebody was saying. They was like, they liked how they tried to give her, show her backstory, but they wish it was more mm -hmm. to it. Like you just said, they wish they could have seen like how she survived or how the Inquisitors brought her on, stuff like that. Yeah, because that's what builds the character and gives them that that backstory where you're like, okay, that's why she's the way she is. That's, that's why she, she had this you know? thing. That's how she like. That's how she knew Anakin was Darth Vader. She was. She got in there with them. She did all this research, and then she's like, oh hey. Da -da -da, so on and so forth. But like <laughs> I did like that they had the, the clone troopers on the street asking for change and stuff. Yeah. Like that, that was, was like, that was good. Cause that explains it. Cause they, Cause that's get what rid they of did the, they get rid of the clones because after a while, because of malfunctions and other stuff, depending on what led what legend you believe, it depend it could be either or there's a couple of different options. But they do get rid of the clones after a while because they because after order sixty six from one of the main legends from what I remember they start becoming defective and they're not as efficient as they used to be after order 66 so they get rid of them and yeah, they start and the hiring agent, humans yeah. stuff. the aging process it makes them age faster and even i think they were like they did they duty they served out what they were supposed to do to, to kill off the jedi and then after that we just spoke it's so messed up it's almost <laughs> like that's how the army is okay you yeah. did a mission for us and okay now you go back now you go back to, it out. with all those <laughs> war issue problems ptsd and all stuff that ain't our problem you yeah, already did what you needed for us and I, I would have loved to see like if we could have gotten a little bit of some of the ones from the 501st like we saw like a couple of them in locale and i know the show is limited but maybe like in the background we see rex or somebody just doing his old thing staying hidden or shout something like to, that shout out to 501st though like the actual people that make those like they cosplay and make the armor for people to cosplay in that'd be at, they'd be at like comic cons and stuff that was yeah. the actual like five oh first. Those people, uh, they were the uh, uh, in the flashback. Yeah, uh, yeah. At the temple. That was them. So that was kind of cool. That was cool though. I like one thing I can say. I did all the flashbacks, even though the limited ones we got. I love the one between Obi Wan and um, Anakin when they're that training. Was great. That yeah, was great. That was good because it it played on that episode of like their tactics, and then he was like, "I know what he's gonna do next," just because he remembers that fight. That was cool. That was, that really was a cool. great way to use a flashback and keep it all on that like same mm -hmm. plane. That was exactly great. like, like it was like really. Said, like we said, they had some really good moments. But... Yeah, this it, it, it's not a series that you're not going to be at least have a little jewel that you're like, okay, that, these were yeah. good elements sprinkled in with all the fluff. It, it the one thing it is, it, I will say is I'm not personally going to go back and have to rewatch it. I'm just going to watch clips from it or whatever fights oh, and yeah. stuff like that. I, it's not something I would go rewatch, but. I think I can say now that I would recommend it for a Star Wars like fanboy, like a person that's got to watch everything Star Wars. Oh, yeah, those yeah. jewels, those gems will keep you like interested enough to make it through the show. But I, anybody who's not really like a heavy Star Wars fan, you can just watch the clips, the little scenes if you want to, or read up little, on it. The little nuggets. And also, another thing just to touch on real quick. But sure. Some of the visuals, like the visuals and like, the effects and the prop like sometimes you could tell it was a set yeah and like you said you were saying to me the ship when oh yeah the spaceship um, it was pulling all, it yeah how did we not see the other ship yeah that was crazy like how did he not how did he not sense the other ship with all those people on it you know what i'm saying it's not like they had one ship with half people on it one ship with like another like he was just like oh yeah this one why and just pulled why? it on Oh man, they got away. Oh man, I can't grab that other ship with my other good hand. <laughs> oh, this is of it where I'm just like Vader. Vader's just like, oh yeah, you need to be in the original, or you need to be, you must. You're for the plot, or Obi Wan's on there. He needs to be in the original. Let's just let him go. 
he just gets away. Like, mm-hmm. and then some of the battle scenes were just like they weren't the greatest. Like the mm-hmm. one where they're like where she sees Storm in the uh, their like stronghold. I'm yeah. just like, this is it was so like slow pace. Yeah, and... exactly. It just was. Oh, it's oh, just, it didn't feel yeah. like it was no kind of like real circumstances or like there's no like stakes here like it's like there's no stakes it was yeah. no, no stakes at and all. then like when you heard the whole scene between her and you know between her and obi-wan beside the, the door and he's she's talking about the point yeah she's oh yeah i'm hunting him that took all the air out of the entire stakes i'm like oh you're not here to kill any of us you're just doing this to draw him in we're gonna make it out of okay we're, you're not gonna you might kill a couple of us but you're not gonna kill all of us you just yeah. using it to lure him in. That writing, man. It, it, and it's it. not that. That's why. That's how it was good because they took what they worked with what they had. Oh yeah, they did. It, it, it they did, did, it did a good yeah, job. They did as good as they could. So they performed very well. They brought life to these characters. Yeah. Hayden killed it. Yep. Coming back as as Vader. Ewan McGregor um, killed it too. <laughs> yeah. You and you and definitely did. How do you feel as we get towards like the things we like and dislike? How do you feel about the two cameos at the end? Remember hmm. Dark City is and then Quiet Gun. Like, how do you feel about those two cameos? That was just look. That was just. It was like, hey, we need to put like Darth Sidious in here somewhere. He needs it to was be unnecessary. Friend. Yeah, he's like, we need him to be like, we need him to say, oh, how are you, my friend? Like, I don't think Star City would have like Star City would have would have would have gotten Vader's head a little bit there. He wouldn't have been like, "Oh, old friend." He would have said something. Like, oh, are you having a problem here or something? He would have antagonized him. And then the the Quagon Jin, I was like, that should have been there earlier. He should have heard like a voice saying saying something to him in his ear or something like that, or around him. Like they they took so long to give <laughs> that moment in life. Yeah, action, and we get it at the end. And at the like, end, and there's nothing you can do with it. I, it's like they were trying to set up for a season two. It's like they Clark were trying Man to set is literally up. one of my favorite like Jedi's yeah. that they don't use. Dude, they and the fact a... that you get mm. Liam Neeson to come back and do it when he say he don't even do TV, right? You get him to come back and you. And that's what you gonna do. Episode. And that's what you gonna do. No, you could have had him in a flashback because when he's talking about when he's lamenting over Anakin falling, he could ever fall back to like when uh, Quagron was teaching him something or telling him something. And yeah. I could have got him back to where he needed to be because Quagon was his master. He knew he was training him. So he exactly. got all his lessons from Quagon. Like you could have seen a little young Obi-Wan and Quagon like training and he's telling him things like, be mindful of your thoughts, Obi-Wan. Don't do it. Like stuff like that. And I did think it was cool too, going back towards that, that ending in last episode. Did you notice that when Anakin was fighting, when Vader was fighting Obi Wan, he still called him Master when he yeah. met him. Yeah. He's, now I have, I think he says, now I have defeated you, my Master, or so, oh, Master, something like that. And it's like it's showing you like Anakin really was fighting with that, like the light and the dark side. Yeah, the throughout the, throughout it, that fight. Because if, if you really hate him and you don't care about him anymore. If he's still calling him master, like it's almost showing like that respect. He was my master. He taught me what I know. I am who I am because of him. Exactly. And me. So it's, it's like that. It's like a respect of your opponent, even though you fighting against each other. It's, I still got so respect. And then, like in the original, he's he was like, "Yo, you ain't the master no more." He was like, "I'm, I'm the master." I'm running yeah, <laughs> I'm running stuff now. He's like, "Last time we met, you were the master, and I was the, uh, the apprentice, and now I'm the master." I was like, yeah. so I, I I feel like, like me and you always say, you got to take these shows with a grain of salt now. Yep. Because when it comes down to it, and I know a lot of these fans, boys, and these Star Wars fans are going to come at us. But in, at the end of the day, the studios are really controlling a lot of the story. Yep. And if they don't like something or they want to keep it family friendly, then they're not. Like somebody, like they were saying in that, it was, when I had the little debate, it was like, yeah, Star Wars has always been family oriented and like family friendly. That's what George made it for, was for the kids and blah, blah, blah. I was like, cool. I get that. I understand exactly what you're saying, but you still had those adult things and like 
the great storytelling and the all comic that. book series. He was not family friendly. What? And that's what I'm saying. Ever. It's like it's almost like I want a Vader show, but then I don't. Yeah, I'm afraid that they're gonna book like, a boba. Water it down. Book a boba yeah. all over again. Now man. I bet you they use flashbacks like hell in that show. <laughs> Cause they don't want Vader killing people every episode. Use some flashbacks. They gonna yeah. like they gonna make him like how they do. They make him the troubled villain, like where he he is. But they're gonna like really hammer it down. They're gonna be like yeah. they're gonna be like you know what? He was a swell guy. He was a mercy guy. every now and then. Well, no. He wasn't a bad guy. He didn't rip people apart and destroy ships and pretty much stab himself to kill somebody else. Like he didn't do that. That wasn't him. That wasn't him. But oh. That's another thing before we even get to our closing points. All right. The reason, going back to the reason why it should have been the way we, we, the way we basically then wrote the show. You got the mm-hmm. mid-fight scene. The ending, the last episode is the mid scene. Yeah. And at the very last episode, right, the last two episodes, you show Obi-Wan, and then in the last episode, it starts out, and then it comes across the screen, what, some... What nine years later? Yeah. yeah. And then you see him you see him talking to Ezra. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Fire. And then he had you get to see that live action fight with Maul and you can bring back Ray Park. Oh dude. Dude, dude. And then show him fight dude. Maul. Dude. And yes. then after he kills Maul, you see him looking and then you get like a little pan in and Luke. Like looking out at the sunset, go. But instead of him walking Dude. up to it, you see him like that first shot we get of him in the original. Yeah. Instead of him walking up to the twin sun, you see him coming away and going inside, like that assurance of Obi Wan. I know he's gonna be safe. And then that brings you even closer to Rogue One and all that. Yeah, too. Like, bro, Dude. I don't want to see this too. Dude, all of that. Could've... Man, you could have aged. You could have done it like where he, like you said, and aged him up as well as like going through those periods in time to where the mall fight would make, obviously him fighting mall would make a lot of sense. And then have him look up, looking over him and be like, and have him walking back into the yes, house and be like, man. I'm good. I made him to where he needs to freaking be. Now I need to like, like I need to train him. I, I can't remember. I can't remember if that mall fight happened. Was it nine? I don't know if it was, no, I think it was six years. It would have been, I think Luke would have been 16. Cause remember mm. later was in the show. And yeah, Rebel, and I think she was a teenager still. Yeah, she was like um, sixteen or something. I think so. I don't. I got. Man, I don't know off top of my. Take the time and all that. And but it it'll, it'll work now. though, because think but about it. It'll work. Yeah, because it's ten. It, he they're ten now, and that fight happened in Rebels, which happened years, after yeah. a couple of different things happened. Man, look, then and then you could crush the, like you could finally get Ezra live action Ezra. He's gonna be in that film, isn't he? Series. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that would have been like okay. Oh, that's who that guy is. We saw him in Obi Wan. You set him up, yeah. or even at that, you don't even have to start it with Ezra. You could have, you could start it like when you go and you do, it and it go what six or nine, how many years it is. You open, and then Obi Wan goes in his stance, and then Maul does his, and then yeah. he comes to do the strike, and they have that moment, and then once he does that, you see him give Maul the proper like burial because mm-hmm. he felt not like we always say obi-wan always takes sympathy for his opponent even if they hate him because yeah. that's, he really is that good-hearted like even though mom was coming to him with pure anger he was still yeah. like we and, both want the same thing and it's crazy it's like maul like he was driven by anger by that defeat but it was because of like palpatine doing all that stuff in the yeah. background that Fueled that fire. So, like at the end of the day, I don't think I don't even think he really had that hatred 100 percent for everyone. It was like you lost. I lost you the first time. I'm at least trying to take you down. I can't take and the whole I'm system take, down. I'm gonna take Luke and train him so we yeah. can take down Palpatine. That's exactly. He's like, can't take the system down right now, but I can at least kill you and take your power, your hope. Yeah, your hope, it, mm-hmm. and, and and still get the win and be the ruler. Like he was trying to really do that. That's why he tried to go with Ezra. And, and, get then, and then look, I'm gonna put some mo fi on that. Oh, let's do it. He's there in Maul, Master Qui Gon come. He's like, Obi Wan, you finally let go and you've learned. Hey. And blah blah blah. He was like, But well, Master Qui Gon, he's the one he's you can't hold on to such things, Obi Wan. You know that yes, wise yeah, Qui Gon be saying yeah. like that wise like that. Yes. Like that that wise like you don't say some wise stuff, but Qui Gon be like, be a, on you, bro. He just be letting you see it just them like, like 
you see them have that moment, and then you see them, like, you get to see Qui-Gon stand there, and then he says, like I said, Obi-Wan, he is the chosen one, and then he goes away, and it's Luke, and that's what he's saying. Quite, no, I was never wrong. I was right, but I wasn't there to really guide it into the way it was supposed to be, but it's, yeah. it's, he's still the chosen one because it's going to be his children that save the galaxy. That saves the galaxy. So in the end, either way, if Quagon would have raised him, like I said, dual face, if he would have raised him, he had a fail safe plan 100% of the way. Even if he fell, his kids would take yep. it back. He, he so will, bring, bring balance. Yeah. Felt like, like you always say, D, Disney, just, just come on, let us get on. Man. All right, let us get on out. it. We, we can help you out. Out. We can make a smash hit that, that ties everything perfectly together. Exactly. Without Don't even touching legends, man. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Shout out to Deborah Chop for directing. She did a great job. And I like that they're getting more female directors into like Star Wars and they're trying to get, it's trying to be very diverse. She did do a great job. But the writing, some of the writing, like we said, and we all know who the real problem is. Oh, we know who she is. The Kevin Feige of Star Wars, but we won't <laughs> say nothing because we don't want to get shadow banned. Yeah, we, yeah we're we not talking nothing. But, you know. Yeah, I really just wish they would give my boy Filoni and Favreau the key to the Star Wars, to the Millennium Falcon, and let them drive it. Dude. Yeah, because, you know. like I said, Book of Boba could have been great, man. Book of Boba it could have been have. amazing. And they basically made it the Mandalorian season 2.5. Yeah, like, <laughs> They were like, man, the ratings are pretty low. Let's put some Mando in there. And that's what they did. And I I liked the episodes, but that wasn't what the point of that show was. Exactly. So getting all this together, our likes, dislikes, standout moments, making our own show. Look, we just (laughs) gave them, what, five, uh, what, six, four more episodes? Right, just right off the back. Yeah, we just critiqued it and gave them some more thing. If they want to do a season two. So I got to go to you. What do you give the uh, you can... Obi-Wan Kenobi series overall? What are your final thoughts, Steve? <sighs> that's hard. That's really hard because I've been racking my brain with it. Because <laughs> me, I know. That's why I went to you first. I, I, like, I know you were going to give it a seven. I don't know if you're still going to give it that, but yeah. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can give it a seven. I, can, I have to give it like a six. Like That's what I came down to because though it had great like moments the fluff ruined the pacing it ruined a lot of like what made it good and there was a lot of things that they could have done more to make the show a lot better and like to cut that that those episodes that were just useless out of it and i do the way it was directed i like the performances so i can't say i can give it i can't give it anything lower than that but i can't just sit and give it a seven because there were a lot of things that i just weren't and that kind of really made me mad like that 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 first vader fight pissed me off man i was and then like the how she found out to, how she found leia i screamed literally I was like how i was like i was like how oh. lady to me so i'll give it's it a, uh, i'll give it a i'll give it a six but and i'll say this if you're a, a person that is like a deep fan of it and you're like you have to watch everything it's worth a watch but if yeah. you're not and if you're not a person that really needs that story you, you don't have to watch it you can just get the synopsis and you'll know and i don't really i don't really i think they're gonna do a season two but i don't really think they're they really can they don't need they fumble that bag they just let it just take, just take the l just, yeah just take i said this game was 10 episodes and nipped it in the book. exactly so my rating is a six out of ten and that was hard to come to because i i was racking between six and seven for the last couple of days like i was like yeah. can i do it and then like i realized if i did that for something that i knew wasn't a seven like it's like, how could I like trust what, how I'm rating things going forward? If I like was able to just, oh, I'll give this a seven, give this a seven, give this, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I had to be real and honest about it. Yeah. But I know you, you're about to give it a seven. No. What do you get? No, so, this is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Since me and Dimitri's score was basically like we went back and forth, I think I'm going to side with you. And we're going to, as a whole, we're going to give it a six out of 10. Yes. from both of us because I agree with a lot of things you just said so I can't disagree with anything you said and I and, and no seriously like sitting and thinking about it the more I thought about it I was like you know what I kind of got to give it that six because if the last episode is what got me out my seat, agreed agreed it brings the grade down because oh y'all gave me y'all gave me the dessert no 
I take that back. I didn't mean to say dessert. It's, y'all fed, y'all gave me breakfast, gave me lunch, gave me dinner. And then right before I laid down, you put like the ice cream in front of me. And I'm like, dang, I'm finna go to sleep now. But okay, I'm gonna eat the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, I like it, but I didn't already got relaxed and finna go to sleep and full. Oh, and now you're gonna get up to me. Now you like, like, like when you said that was the best episode, I doubted it, but I was like, Marcus wouldn't lie no, to me. I was like, you wouldn't, wouldn't lie, but I doubted it for a second. I was like, is it though? It like, I, I went, in, I went in with it. It's probably not, but I know Marcus ain't gonna lie, so I'm, I'm pretty no. sure it's right. But I was like, and I started watching, I'm like, this is actually probably the best freaking and, episode. And just for people who feel like they want to come at us for this score, it's a lot of people, a lot of people who agree with us. They might not give it a six, but I ain't. I haven't seen anything higher than a seven from like real fans and people who like appreciate Star Wars cinematically, storytelling wise, visually, all of that stuff. A lot of people haven't given it higher than a seven. It's that should tell you something. And I've looked at countless reviews on it, and a lot of these people are not like they'll say, "Yeah, I'm giving it seven and say, but in the next video, I'm gonna address some of my problems. Like, when somebody got to make a whole nother video <laughs> to address that problem, no, it, tell you something. But it ain't really a seven. It's just a six or whatever. It's a little bit lower because if you if you got to make, a, like you said, a whole video, it ain't. It, you can address all a seven. You can address everything about a seven in the same video. Like, you don't mm-hmm. have to set a separate video where you're talking about everything wrong about it. Yep. But, yep. yeah, it. That last episode really guaranteed it to six, really. If it did not have that last episode, it would not have been a six. I'm not even going to I'm not gonna hold you. It would not be a six at all. John that... Because, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that last episode was really, like, that was, like, I feel like we were like, man, we need a, we need, we know we're not going to get people with these five, but that six? That's going to get us the 8 out of 10. That's going to get us the 9 out of 10. They were like, they knew what they were doing when they wrote this yep. stuff. They were like, yeah, we're going to have all this fluff. And I, I don't mind you having like a little bit of fluff to be like, oh, yeah, Obi-Wan's kind of depressed and he's going through his crisis. I get that. But I'm saying, like, you got six episodes, man. You got to pick that. You got to pick it up. You got to. Yep, and you got to make it up. Yep. To, you got to pick it up to where it makes sense. You can't, like, have, like you say, Leia get kidnapped. And in the next episode, first part of the episode, they already have a plan to go get her. Like. That's too quick. That really nullifies the threat, the stakes, the everything you had going no, build up. There were no end. real, there were no high stakes, very low and stakes. I, in this and show. I felt like I never felt like at one one time I never felt. Oh man, I'm I'm worried about what's gonna happen to Obi Wan. Like they, even though he's not gonna get killed or anything, you never felt like, oh man, a sense of urgency. Oh no, Obi Wan, like. Oh no, Leia. Uh, you know, it always felt. Like, yeah, we know they're gonna make it out. We know they're gonna be all right. <laughs> right? Like we know they're gonna be There's in the no room. real like, threat, man. So. And and uh, here's the thing: they could have worked with that. They could have made it to where it was really just about Obi Wan and Vader. That, that them two, no Inquisitor, no nothing, just them two. And their their inner inner, you know, them dealing with the fact that they were once like close, they were homies, and now mm-hmm. they're not. And how Vader just has this like hatred to go find him because he knows he's not dead. So he knows Obi-Wan ain't just going to die like a dog in the desert or something like that. He's going to be around. He's going to be surviving. Like, he knows his master. And Obi-Wan just grilling with the, the grief of it. And then finding out that Vader is Anakin, you could have done a whole thing about that. And there's I mean, and, and, and that would have, and we would have been okay because there's no stakes and they're not supposed to be. I mean, and it'd have look, been done. I need to send my resume. <laughs> I got some ideas. We got some ideas, guys. We got some no. ideas, man. We out here just giving them different takes on the same story five different ways, man. So here from Demetrius and Marcus's review of Kenobi, brought to you by the Square Round Table Podcast, we officially give the Kenobi Star Wars Limited Series a 6 out of 10. If you want to watch it, all six episodes are available on Disney Plus, the Disney Plus streaming service right now. So you can go and catch that. But if you need any reference to what happened before, you can watch episodes one, two, and three. That kind of gives you Anakin and Obi-Wan's backstory. And in the first episode, they give you kind of like a little quick recap of what happened before that. And then you got the comic books, the novels, 
So if you really want to dive deep into it and get to the nitty gritty of the story, it's a lot of content. But uh, as far uh, as if that, you want a, a Vader recommendation, read Vader down. That, that yes, is a Vader great down. Yes. series. Oh my yes. god. Yeah. One of my down, favorite quotes um, from that series. Oof. His series, the Vader series that takes place literally at uh, it picks up right at the end of episode three when he when he does the, the no. It's some good it's some good content out there to fill that void if you feel like it's a void. I know a lot of people are upset about it, so definitely that's where you can check it out. And D, tell us where they can check us out, man. So you can check us out on the Square Roundtable Podcast. Uh, I'm sorry, you can check us out on SquareRoundtablePod.Fandom.com. You can check us out on SquareRoundtablePod.Fandom.com. And you can check us out on YouTube at any time. If you like the video, smack the like button. Leave us a comment about what you thought about the series. Do you agree with our rating? Do you not agree with it? Let us know. If you have some choice words for us down there, let us know too. We will be down there to hash out any problem. We want the smoke, guys. We want the smoke. Uh, <laughs> share the video because that gets us. That's a very helpful thing. It gets our video out there to other people and brings more viewership to us. And that would really help us out. And hit the yeah. notification on the right side of the video so that you get notified of this video and any future video that we have. And follow us on our socials, our Twitter, our Instagram, our pesky Facebook group. Put some life in there. Put some life in there and into that and make it a really, really inviting place yeah, for Star Wars people and stuff man. like that. Give us a little bit more entertainment than that, that Obi Wan series gave us. Let it like give us a yeah. full span of conversation. Yeah. And, oh, and, and you forgot we got a TikTok now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Follow us on come, um, our... Go find us on TikTok. Find us on TikTok under Square Round Table Pod 1. No, one. Square Round Table Pod. I think Square Yeah, square... yeah. we'll put it the, in, in the description, description below. below. But we look out for us on the so, TikTok, yeah. yeah. We just got it. So we're trying to still get used to it. So, yeah, you can yeah. check us out on TikTok too now. No? Go ahead, D. Bring us out, man. And this has been, oh yeah, let me say. And uh, before we before we end the video, I would like both of us to say who we are again. I am Demetrius. And I am Marcus. And as only one says, instead of saying goodbye, hello there. Hello there. And this has been the Square Onto a Podcast, and we are out. Peace, and may the force be with you. <laughs>